Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi Okay, so today We learn in chapter 10 But before that, I just want to remind you back What we have learned in chapter 9 So actually in chapter 9 We have learned about simple harmonic motion When the One particle is oscillate in In the particular time Okay, so this is given by Equation x is equal to a sine omega t Where x is a displacement And t it, uh, is a time At particular time so, it's represented by sinusoidal graph x versus t. In chapter 10, you will learn mechanical wave. Why we call it as mechanical wave? Because it's required a medium to transfer energy such as uh, sound wave. The medium transfer is a um, particle of air. And then water wave, uh, the medium that transfer energy is a... Water is a molecule of water, particle, particle of water. Okay, so it's represented by the sinusoidal graph juga, but the equation is y is equal to a sine omega t plus minus kx, where they include with the which particle at a certain time at where displacement. Okay, so you can see that. Untuk chapter 9 pun kita guna displacement but the symbol is x. Okay. Tapi untuk chapter 10 kita tukar simbol dia menjadi y untuk displacement because kita guna x untuk uh, cari direction of particle. Sorry, cari uh, value of particle lah. Which particle ataupun distance of the particle. Ha, lagi tepat distance lah. Okay, kita gunakan x to cari distance of the particle. Dan untuk chapter 10 juga Mechanical wave adalah Oscillation of many particle over time Kalau awak nampak kat sini Yang bulat-bulat kecil ni adalah Particle Particle vibrate eh, Vibrate Vibrate pada position dia sahaja Dan sambil itu dia akan transfer energy So wave pun propagate waktu tu Tapi uh, Particle hanya vibrating pada position dia sahaja Tidak bergerak Okay so, untuk mechanical wave, you akan belajar dua graph, which are y against x graph, iaitu displacement against distant graph and displacement against time graph. Okay? So, ini just basic graph yang saya tunjuk saja. So, y x graph. So, contohlah sine graph. And then, you benda baru yang akan belajar adalah wave number and wavelength. Okay? Untuk chapter 10. Okay, kalau uh, displacement against time t, so dia punya dia punya analogi simbol sama macam you belajar simple harmonic motion. Okay, one complete cycle is period. So, period related with angular frequency. Okay, so what is a mechanical wave? Okay, mechanical wave is, uh, first you have to know what is the properties of wave lah. Okay, properties of wave. Wave is defined as the propagation of the disturbance that carries the energy and momentum away from the source of disturbance. Maksudnya dia sebagai pembawa. Pembawa tenaga. So, mechanical wave is defined as disturbance that travel through a particle of the medium to transfer the energy. Okay. So, syarat dia memang dia nak transfer energy lah. That's why dia berlakunya mechanical Mechanical wave. So, ni adalah contohlah. Mechanical wave dia gerakkan secara transverse wave. Di mana pergerakan um, that vibrating dia adalah uh, perpendicular to the motion of wave. Ni motion of wave. And then vibrating dia adalah perpendicular. So, kita panggil dia lah transverse wave lah sebenarnya gambar raja ni. Okay, the up and down motion of the rope is perpendicular to the direction of the motion of the wave. So, the particles oscillate around their equilibrium position but do not travel. So, oscillate means that dia hanya akan, uh, particle tu hanya akan vibrate lah pada position dia sahaja. Okay, contohnya adalah water wave, sound wave, wave on the string, wave in the spring and earthquake wave lah. All mechanical wave required some source of disturbance, mesti ada gangguan. Then, dia tak ada gangguan macam mana nak wujudkan wave. Okay, medium that can be disturbed. Benda yang boleh diganggu lah. Okay, mechanism to transfer the disturbance from one point to the next point along the medium. Okay. 
So uh, progressive wave Kita akan divide into two So progressive wave is A wave propagates continuously From a source of disturbance So the progressive wave have Definite speed called a speed of propagation Or we can we can call it as a wave speed So wave speed untuk progressive wave adalah constant Okay so the direction of the wave speed Is always same a direction of the wave propagation So kita ada dua progressive wave lah First is transverse wave And the second one is longitudinal wave So kalau dia cakap pasal transverse wave Dia adalah wave which direction of vibrational particle is perpendicular Vibrate macam ni Perpendicular to the speed of Sorry uh, Perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation Iaitu wave speed lah If let's say say about longitudinal wave Longitudinal wave Longitudinal wave Dia direction of vibration of the particle is parallel Geraknya macam ni And then dia adalah parallel dengan wave propagation Okay So inilah contoh dia Perpendicular parallel Okay Okay so ini kalau yang you nampak Dia adalah transverse wave Di mana uh, arah velocity-nya adalah Ke kanan Okay you akan nampak macam seolah-olah Dia akan ke kanan So ni adalah amplitude dia lah Okay So kalau saya ni oh, Nampak So, lalu wave tu gerak ke kanan. Okay, so you can see here is a contoh longitudinal wave. Okay, so contoh lah amplitude. Nampak tak? Saya so, bebek dia. So, amplitude dia dia kira tu secara melintang. Kita lah, saya tak. Ini tu. Okay, maksudnya daripada equilibrium position. Sampailah position situ adalah amplitude. Okay. Okay.